Hello, I'm Becca from Goldilocks Marketing and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics. For this tutorial you'll need to have a Google Analytics account already set up with the tracking code installed on your website. First off, let's take a look at audience overview. When you first log into Analytics, this is the first screen that you see, the audience overview screen. It defaults to the last 30 days, but you can change that up here as I've done. I've changed it to show the last quarter, the last three months, and I've checked this box to compare it to the previous three months. Here you can see the total number of sessions. So that's not necessarily unique users, that's the total number of times that your website has been visited. What users shows is the number of unique users. It, it used to actually be called unique visitors. So in this case we've got 5,477 unique users in this quarter versus the previous quarter there of 4,580. And that gives us an almost 20% increase in the number of users this quarter. Page views here is the total number of pages that were viewed by all visitors. And what Google then does is take pages per session, which is the page views divided by the number of visitors. And that gives us our figure here of 3.37 pages versus 3.45. So we've had a slight decrease there, which is why it's in red. That, that shows that it's bad news. And here we've got the average session duration. So that's the amount of time spent on the site, again, divided by the number of users. And we can see here that people are spending 2 minutes and 17 seconds on the website which has gone down quite a lot actually from the last period. And then bounce rate here. This is the number of people who've come on onto your website and then left again immediately without clicking on any other pages and without spending any real time on the site. And the increase here, Google's put in red because it, it's bad that the bounce rate has increased. We want to see a low bounce rate. And this is the percentage of new sessions, which is, as it says really, the number of people who haven't been on the website before. Overall then, for this client's website, um, the, the news is quite good for the last three months. The number of sessions is up and the number of unique users is up fairly significantly. Um, the only thing that's really cause for concern is that they're not looking at quite so many pages as they used to and the bounce rate has increased slightly, but that's something to keep an eye on. Over on the left hand side here, I'm just going to go down each of these menu items and explain what they do and what you should look out for. You've got demographics. This is very useful if you've got a product that you're selling online which is very targeted to a particular age group or a particular gender. These can be very useful statistics. Likewise if you're targeting people with particular interests. Let's have a look at audience location next. This is a US based client so most of their traffic is coming from the United States as you would expect. But this is really really useful if you're targeting a particular city for example if you're a local business this is very useful to make sure that you're actually getting the, the traffic that you want from really, really useful if you're targeting a particular city for example if you're a local business this is very useful stuff to make sure that you're actually getting the, the traffic that you want from the places that you want you can also then look at behavior you can look at new visitors versus those who've visited the website before and you can see here that most traffic is coming from new users as opposed to returning visitors most people here visit the website again the same day. The next tab under audience in Google Analytics is technology. Let's have a look at browsers and operating systems. We can see here that most visits are coming from Safari followed by Chrome and then Internet Explorer. So if you've got something that isn't working for a particular browser, then it's worth checking this tab because if something's not working in Safari, for example, you need to fix it because that's the, the browser that most of your visitors are using. You can see what the majority of your visitors use and then improve your website for them. This is what networks. And you can also look at what networks your visitors are using. Next, let's have a look at what devices your visitors are using to access your website. This breaks down the type of device that people are using. So most people are visiting this website via a desktop computer. And you can see here it's actually the, that traffic that's gone up from the mobile has dropped from desktops. And tablet users is also very slightly up. 
The client whose website that we're looking at um, isn't actually an e-commerce website, but if it was, then over here you'd also be able to track where people came from and spent the money on your website with the conversion rate. You can also see up here in analytics and on most of these sections, there's a secondary dimension drop down. So you can then start to drill down more into, for example, where these people came from. And this can be really useful for something like an AdWords campaign because you can then target your, your real users. We're still in the mobile tab over here. I'm just going to click on devices. And I think this is really interesting and useful information because it, this particular website, actually as with most of the websites that I manage, Apple iPhone is the number one mobile device by quite a long way actually followed then shortly behind by Apple iPad. If you're thinking about updating your website, you really need to take into account these statistics to make sure that your website looks particularly good on the top devices that your customers are actually using. So that's the audience tab. So that's information about your audience. Let's have a look at how they found your website. Now we're looking at the acquisition overview section. So for this website, you can see that most traffic this quarter came from organic searching, then direct traffic, and then referral traffic. So referral traffic is coming from other websites, not including social media, because that's got its own tab, this yellow one here. And again, we're comparing it to the last quarter. And you can see it's similar proportions, although last quarter had less organic search. That's non-paid for searches via Google, etc. Versus direct traffic. So last quarter, there was slightly more direct traffic. That's people typing the domain name straight into their browser. To see what you used to see. We used to be able to see a big long list of all of the different keywords that people used. And now you'll mostly see the number one keyword, it, it just says not set, i.e. Google isn't going to tell you what search term they use. Link to your website and people have clicked on that link to come through to you. And under social, And you can also then start to look into more details, for example, landing pages. So if you've been running a campaign on social media, say, for example, you've been posting a link on Facebook to one of your pages. If you're using social networks and you've linked them through to your analytics account, then you can see where referrals are coming from via Facebook, Twitter, etc. So this search engine optimization tab is relatively new in Google Analytics and Google has added this, I, I feel, to make up for the, the change in what keywords they'll show you. Under here it will show you a list of queries that people have used to search for your website and or your competitors' websites. To protect my clients' keywords, I've, I've just shown you a screenshot here of how this search engine optimization query screen works. In the first column you'll have your query, it's basically the number of clicks divided by the number of impressions. And I've just clicked on landing pages, which is again under the search engine optimization tab. This shows you a list of the landing page, i.e. the page that the visitor first went to. And it lists your pages in this first column and then it shows you how many times that came up and how many times it was clicked. So same as the last screen, but this time it's showing you which pages are the most popular in terms of search engine listings. And again, you can do secondary dimensions to start to drill down a bit more into those results. And how many times it was clicked. So same as the last screen, but this time it's showing you which pages are the most popular in terms of search engine listings. And again, you can do secondary dimensions to start to drill down a bit more. I hope this tutorial has been useful. If you have any questions or you'd like any help with your analytics, then please get in touch via our website, goldilocksmarketing.co.uk.